time for a fresh new year. Top that trade. Joining us now, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network news contributor, and Alan Neckman, a top trader and chief market strategist at bullseyeoption.com. Good to see you guys. Round number one, new resolutions. 2023 is here. The S&P dropped 20% in 2022. Where does that drop stop? Well, you can't say resolution without resolute. And the market actually was pretty resolute considering the headwinds it had last year with seven or eight hikes, a war happening in Europe. So we lost 20%, but the year before we gained 27%. January 4th was the one year anniversary of the all time forever highs. Uh, and let's remember we're 500% off the 2009 lows and 75% off the COVID lows. So we see higher highs and higher lows right now since October. Let's see what the next move is. 3,800 is really important. I think our resolution is make more money. Stay tuned to this show. You can do that. No, I, I think when you look at the, the market, you know, we're fighting the Federal Reserve. And, you know, what's really weird is that the stock market does great. We get a jobs number much better than expected. And it's like, oh, no, we can't have that. You know, you know, you have the Federal Reserve saying the biggest threat to the global economy is inflation. And that could be true or it may not be true, but it has been hurting the possibility of Perception. earnings down the road. Right. The perception of earnings, right? Because earnings aren't going to be as good in a rising interest rate environment. Having said that, you take a look at other tightening cycles that we've seen. Uh, sometimes the stock market, especially in a high inflationary environment, does well. So I think we're going to outperform in the stock market this year. Look for those uh, bargains right now. Round number two, high, low, or no? What's the better buy? Gold that made a six-month high or natural gas, one of the worst performers of last year? The way I'm playing natural gas right now, which I think a good way to do it, is I'm buying calls right now. You can buy some March calls relatively cheap. You can go to $5, $6, or even $7. And if the weather flips, you'll see those options maybe double or triple in value. Natural natural gas was just at 10. It's come back down to the $3 breakout. Uh, the key here for everything is the dollar. The dollar's hanging around this 105 level, which is the halfway point of the action from last year. So if it breaks below that significantly, then all commodities will gain. Round number three, bang, bunk. Pick a stock that you want to bite on. Will it be Meta? I still call it Facebook. Amazon, Netflix, or Google? So Meta used to be Facebook. Uh, it's already uh, bounced and filled in its gap as has Netflix. So those two are gone. But if you look at Amazon and Google, they're both making bottom bases here and they both have bullish divergence, meaning they made new lows, but not new highs in implied volatility. And they set up a really good risk reward to the upside on these money, money makers. And I, I'm still calling Meta Facebook by mistake, and, and I'm still writing 2022 on my checks by mistake. But having said that, I don't like Meta down here. I really don't. Uh, the one out of, out of this group, the one that I really like, I think, is Google, because I think right. what, that's almost like buying a utility these days, right? right. Because of their, their multifaceted uh, search engine possibilities. I think their ad they revenue, even though, it, right, they're making money, even though their ad revenue is down, but I think they have a way to maximize it. Here's your bonus round question for today. What's the average monthly payment for a new car buyer? Is it $800, $900, or $1,000? I'm going with the over $1 thousand dollars i i very rarely buy new cars uh you're better off obviously from a financial standpoint to buy a two-year-old car that's already had a brunt of the depreciation and that that's what i try and follow uh but i know the answer the answer is a thousand dollars the answer is one thousand dollars you guys are starting the year off right with two wins way to go go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on tv